So if you would like to make a butterfly finger puppet, the easiest way I found that to do that is take a piece of scrap paper and fold it in half. And then on the, on the side that's not folded, make a half of a butterfly shape. You could draw it first if you wanted to. I'm just going to cut it. We'll see how it comes out. So you just cut a shape into what you think a butterfly would look like if you could only see part of it. Oh, you know what? I forgot to make some antennas. The butterfly has to have antennas, right? So let me cut some more a little bit here off. Maybe come down to a point, maybe. Something like that. Or maybe that's his tail. What do you think? Do you think that looks like a butterfly? That's kind of, sort of. It might be better to draw it. But what you do is you keep it folded. And then you're going to just cut two slots. Oh, about an inch apart, half an inch apart. And then when you open it up, you're going to fold it the opposite way so you can slip your finger inside that little holder for your butterfly. And then you fold it back up so he has wings. Now what's great about using a white piece of paper, you could do it on construction paper too. But what's great about white paper is that after you're done making your butterfly, um, you could decorate it with crayons. Um, I mentioned antennas. Maybe you could uh, put some, a piece of paper, cut out some antennas and add them, glue them on. Maybe you could put some stickers on it. Or how about some googly eyes? However you want to. Um, make your butterfly look like it's totally up to you um, even if you use construction paper it would still be fun to decorate I hope you've enjoyed this video and um, think about what other things you could make out of paper what kind of finger puppets you could make I hope you enjoyed the story I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.